Shirt's sure coming off. It's official. It's official. It's official. It's official. Kino body's here. Here we go. All right. So last night I was up till like 3 a.m. editing a vlog, a vlog, a vlog, and uh, been on the computer all day working. Um, it's about 4:30, and now I'm with my man Emil, we're gonna uh, edit some sweet photos. We did a photo shoot not too long ago, a few days ago. So we're gonna, you know, do some editing, find the best photos um, for you know Instagram stuff, and you know for inspiring messages and all that shit. And then it's time to hit some leg lifts. So we're gonna do a bit of leg training. So should be good. I'm trying to work on my my legs, my wheels, and uh, my vertical jump, my power. All right, I just finished an hour of kickboxing outside with my instructor. He was on the SWAT team for 10 years. He's trained in a lot of different martial arts, and we're doing some kickboxing, some knife training. And at the end of our session, we always do like we always film everything we went through just to kind of for the muscle memory and also just to have it on file so I can look back at it. So I'm gonna review some of the stuff we did, like slower and not as intense, so it's not gonna look as cool, but we'll get into it. All right, so right here I'm doing some, some knife drills and the idea is to hit the opponent in the face and actually finger jab their eyes to disorient them and get them away from trying to stab you and worrying about their eyes. Really important stuff when you're dealing with a knife to be able to kind of be on the offense as well as the defense. Four, five. Good, so now think of it. A little, right. So that's what you're doing now is long range, I call right. it largo range. If you stick kind of closer, now you're gonna go cut and thrust. Okay. Cut, thrust, cut. Now you double, one, two. Good. Now it's important to um, to explain here that this is just a simple drill. This isn't simulating an actual real knife fight. This is just helping to develop the sensitivity and the timing so you can use it in a real situation. All right, so I'm gonna make some coffee and then uh, Emil, dude, you wanna practice? Some, Cause I, you know, I'm tight on time now, so we might have to do a home leg workout. So I'm gonna practice some dunking and then maybe do some weighted pistol squats and some calf raises. Then we'll order some, uh, get some Uber Eats going. Looking good, looking good. All right, got my fasting fuel here. This is the power of this shit. <clears throat> Boom! Easy. Yeah. All right, so just for perspective, I'm five foot 10. That's a 10 foot regulation myth. Pretty high up there. I'm gonna try a one step route. Or it's a four step grab. Should we try and dunk a little ball? Let's try this one. The technique is a few little tips. First of all, your jumping power, your, how high you can jump is the best indicator of your leg power. A few keys, chest up, stand tall, accelerate. Your speed should be increasing the closer you get to the net. And when you jump, strong plant, explode up. Fail. Fail. <laughs> Fuck! Shirt's coming off. It's official. It's official. It's official. Kino body's here. Here we go. Ball. Let's get the bigger ball. Yes. Let's get a bit more. Go. Oh! Alright, jumping is an amazing tool to use because it teaches you how to, where to put your mind. It's funny, if you're in the right mental state, you can jump so much higher. If you're tripping yourself out, overthinking, you, you screw up. And this is the same mentality you need when you're lifting weights. You have to be able to put your mind in that, that solid place. So, 
you're gonna be thinking flow, easy, effortless. When I was running up and hit that huge dunk, I just felt like a fucking machine. I was running up there, I felt like I could fly. So, Emil, we're gonna go again. Do it. You ready? All right. What are you thinking about? Fucking effortless and accelerate. Power up, accelerate and fucking throw shit down. Easy. You gotta empty your mind, like Bruce Lee said. Fuck yeah! Chicken legs, baby. Fucking chicken legs. All right, I finished doing my dunking, so now I'm gonna do a little bit of leg training, just some pistol squats. I did uh, two bodyweight reps for my first set, uh, two reps with 20 pound dumbbells each for my second set, and now my third set, which is shown right now, I'm doing 30s per hand for two reps. I focus on exploding up. I find lower reps, like two reps is better for building power um, and strength without causing excess muscle growth. I find that the low reps also help my vertical jump more than doing like eight to 10 reps, for example. Um, so now I believe we got 40s going on and they're feeling pretty good. And now we're about to go with the 50s. Um, just to put in perspective, this is 100 pounds on one leg. This is a lot of leg strength. A lot of guys that can squat well into the 300s would massively struggle to do this. So, um, you know, building strength the pistol squat is a great way to build leg power that can carry over to a lot of different pursuits. So uh, another, like this is a fantastic exercise. Um, but again, this is a shorter workout because I was 10 time and I forgot I had the kickboxing session. Ba bam All right, I finished recording like an hour long video slash podcast with Redu and now I got my MIT appointment, muscle activation technique. So I'm gonna hustle on over there and see my man Eric. He's gonna see how my body's performing, maybe uh, tune me up a little bit. I, I work with this guy for a bit and see him maybe once a month and he, he works wonders, so we're going. Okay, I just left uh, my buddy Mikey a voicemail. I gotta give him a little shout out right now because uh, I haven't been on my texting game for the last little while. We finished up an awesome MAT session. It was like an hour, a little bit more maybe. Mm -hmm. And I had some issues with some exercises, some pains, and it fixed me right up. Yeah. Feel great. Fixed. Yeah, fixed. yeah. What was the what was the big thing today that we got done? Uh, we managed some 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 foot mechanics, and we worked yeah. on some elbow mechanics to make sure he can do his chin ups, yeah. right, and that he can do his pistols, all ready to go. Awesome. Yeah, I was having some issues with this arm, with my one arm chin ups. I was coming out here now, and it was some all in the shoulder, the elbow, and we found some some muscles that weren't firing. And we got them going, and uh, yeah, a single arm. Yeah, I'm feeling good. So awesome shit. I am tired of wearing this hat all the time, so I'm gonna go get my hair cut done. And uh, hopefully my hairdresser, she's a little shy on camera, so hopefully she'll let me do a little bit of filming. She really pisses her off. Uh, I used to get the worst haircuts, and then a few years ago, I, uh, I realized, I, you know, I'd try and tell him, you know, cut it here like this, and it never looked good. And then I started to, um, what I started, fuck it, I don't even need a hat anymore. And, um, and a few years ago, I started bringing in photos, and it just made total game changers. So I'm gonna go for, that white collar Matt Bomber look, sheer classic. Um, and I also always bring in my own shampoo um, because a lot of the shampoos at any stores, they're filled with artificial fragrance, filled with chemicals, and the stuff affects me negatively. Um, so I'm bringing in my organic natural uh, shampoo by Nutra Oily. Got my laptop, charger, and uh, my shampoo. Now, I don't think people actually fully realize this, but one of the keys for vlogging is it's, it's almost intimidating at first to pull out your camera in public and talk, you know, talk to yourself essentially in front of a bunch of people. Um, and then to like go about your day and then bring other people into your vlog. It's a little bit intimidating. People feel shy and nervous and I definitely did it first. You gotta like do a little mental Jedi mind trick and almost be like, what do you mean I'm vlogging? You know, you gotta, you gotta kind of assume that they're weird for thinking it's weird or you know, they're weird for not even vlogging at all. So when you're doing this vlogging thing, you gotta, oh my God, look at this freaking traffic, holy shit. You can't even see that, maybe you can see it over there, it's insane. Oh, this feels really good. Stop. Don't worry, you're not in it. 
How? I say something and then take it. Stop. We're about to get my hair cut. I'm gonna go for this look. But I'm not gonna film the haircut because Kate might get too distracted and embarrassed. So I, I want her to give me a good haircut. Bye guys. <laughs> All right, I got my haircut done. I'm liking it. Kate did a good job. I was hot. I was, uh... <laughs> I'm, her, I'm her favorite client, even though I, I freak out every time she cuts the, near the ears. Oh, I'm your favorite customer. I'm your favorite. I hate you. I'm... <laughs> I love you. It's a love-hate relationship. <laughs> All right, I got some uh, green and black chocolate almonds, some sparkling water, and two bottles of Shiraz. And the haircut game is on point right now. All right, I'm gonna go to a little coffee shop just to fire up my laptop. And hey, there's my car. It's a little F-type, just went by. Um, but I'm gonna fire up my laptop, and I'm going to do some computer work, some email stuff, some writing, and then I gotta hustle back home because I gotta do some, I'm gonna do some uh, a Skype call with Tanner Guzzi, who I'm doing the style course with. So we're gonna basically run through all the chapters and break down everything we want to cover, and we're gonna get cracking on writing this awesome program. Yeah, let's uh, let's get these guys going because this is gonna be. I'm so pumped on what we're gonna have included in all this. It's gonna be such a dialed program for your guys. I haven't I haven't put a program together. In uh, in a long time because yeah, think, since the body weight mastery, right? Yeah, that dude, that was a year ago. So I'm excited. I've been like, I'm like, oh, I need to do something. <laughs> yeah. All right, we've been on the call for a couple hours now, like from you know eight o'clock to like ten o'clock. We've covered some amazing stuff. It was incredible. This discussion was amazing. Tanner, what's up, dude? Dude. I, I, as pumped as I was before, you know how you get like almost a natural high off of really good conversations with guys who just get it? Yeah. That's what we just did and that's what you guys are going to get. This, that was so fun. What was, what was that, what was like one thing from this call that we want to share with our little YouTubers right now? Or I'm pointing, th there was so much we hit on, man. It was like, there was so, there was. Okay. Uh, the one thing from this is if you are at all intimidated by style, we hit on all the key components by making very, very good fitness analogies. So we put this in a language that you guys already know and understand to make it as swallowable and palatable as possible. So it's going to be, it's going to be fun. It's going to be in a language you guys already speak. And that's and, and to give a little kind of really cool example of of that concept. It's like the guys that first get into fitness, they make the mistake of trying to do everything at once. Trying to do CrossFit, trying to do ping on the X, trying to do you know powerlifting. And body weight training, and then they overextend themselves, and then they never really get anywhere. Same thing with style. People try and follow so many different rules. They go too far, and they dress over the top. And with a lot of guys, funny enough, a lot of the, the workout guys, they make the mistake of, of wearing clothes that are too tight. They feel proud about their bodies, and so they end up getting clothes that are so damn tight where it almost looks like they're deliberately showing off. And it almost it, 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 it almost takes away from them because now people are assuming like, wow, the only thing this guy got, has got going for him is his physique. And then they look down at you um, because it doesn't appear as a well-rounded person. If you ever watch movies like, you know, with Ryan Gosling or Daniel Craig, th yeah, they're, they're in great shape, but they don't overdo it. They're not like wearing skin tight stuff. It's subtle. Subtle Style should be subtle. Yep. Yeah, man. <laughs> so um, if you guys are really pumped for this. We've already got like hundreds of people, like just off one little video, um, that are on the waiting list. So if you want to join join this and get the benefits of being on the exclusive waiting list, you know maybe early access to the course, you know a good discount, then make sure to go over to kinobody.com/style. We'll get you on the email list, and maybe we'll send you some bonus stuff. So it should be very very cool. All right, guys, it's ten o'clock, um, and I, I've only had you know a couple protein bars and a and a uh, and a apple today and it's 10 p.m. so I gotta <laughs> hit a huge meal I know I know but you know what that's the cool thing when you adapt to intermittent fasting it's amazing how much freedom you get in your lifestyle you learn how to kind of you know you, you get way more productive so it's very cool so I'm gonna uh, jump off here Tanner and uh, and I will hit a big ass meal all right we got some food here and why is that? okay, okay. Um, let's open this why are you laughing? Just thinking about something so funny so we got some steak this should be steak Nachos, salad. That's your salad, I'm guessing. Holy Nailed it. Fuck, it's massive. Greg. Oh my god, you might not need it. You can take it home with you. It looks so good, though. Well, it's not vegan. That looks freaking great. Let's eat that right now while it's hot. Hey, you have sweet potato fries. We got nachos. 
Sweet See, potato. I always order too much food and I never finish oh, it. Oh, heck yeah. Those are sweet potato fries. You're having some? Yeah, I can try some. Holy wow, that looks amazing. Whoa. That looks so good. Amazing. Holy crap. Oh my god. You know what? I gotta take a picture of all this. Oh, let's try these cheese nachos. Oh my god. Mm. Honestly, I don't even want the steak right now. The cheese nachos are too damn good. So we're gonna try this and see if it's good. I already have my own fries, Annie, but you are more than welcome not to finish them. Sass. That's not sass. I'm just saying that that you don't have to finish them, mm -hmm. and I won't feel offended. I'm taking with me. So Annie, look at her cute little sweet potato fries. She took about a quarter portion, because the portion she got was huge, and she got a little chipotle mayo. It looks so cute. Her little salad, which is almost done, and her sweet potato fries. This is only like a quarter of it. And it's I'm, so cool. I'm gonna write a, a new program called the Annie Diet. It's just salad and french fries. It's all you get, salad and french fries. I guess so, eh? Yeah, and you fast, you fast. Pretty well, like one. She fast till one. You get the point, I'm gonna eat all this food and make sure I don't overeat so I stay lean. All right, I really hope you enjoyed uh, today's vlog or vlog. That was filmed over two days to get some more action for you. So if you're enjoying this series, please hit the like button, please subscribe, and share your comments. And uh, I'm about to jump on a plane tomorrow to LA, so we'll get some sweet videos filmed in LA, maybe some collabs, maybe some really cool day in the life stuff. And I'll be speaking at a really cool event. Um, so should all be fun and uh i will talk to you guys soon peace oh and make sure to use my physique builder tool to get on the kino body track and start building that hollywood physique where you're lean and strong and muscular pretty much effortlessly so very very cool stuff if you haven't followed that yet then uh then go to kinobody.com tool to use my physique builder tool all right guys i am about to go hit a leg workout peace Jag has got all washed off naturally by the rain. I'm very lazy. I don't like to I don't care about washing my cars. I like things nice and dirty, so the rain <laughs> the rain cleared it up. All right, peace.